Hollywood star adventurer isn't planning to enter a physical culture contest. He's just getting ready for a very unusual and strenuous role. Because in his first modern romantic comedy, Errol Flynn has to portray the world's most perfect man. What a part. He's the heir to $20 million who's been raised by his eccentric grandmother to be the physical, mental, and moral superior of his fellow men. Yowza, he fights like Dempsey, speaks seven languages, races a car like Barney Oldfield, and he even knows how to cook. He's a master mechanic and a master everything else. But believe it or not, girls, he's never had a date. Look at run before it's too late, because here comes trouble. This is the little lady who's made up her mind to make a perfect wreck out of the perfect specimen. It's Joan Blondell, and when she starts Carol Flynn how to misbehave, it's perfect fun. Have you ever been tight? Of course not. Ever see a burlesque show? Certainly not. Ever kiss a girl? Now listen, young lady, don't you start anything. I can't afford to be compromised. What is it, Grattan? What's the matter with you? As a matter of fact, Gerald has disappeared. Have you looked? Uh, I give you my word, we've searched this estate with a grappling, with a rake, with one of those curry combs, and we cannot find him. Help! He's been kidnapped! That's what! Do something! Telephone the G-men or whatever their ridiculous names are! Uh, call the police! The police! Of course, the police! I beg your pardon, we were just... What's your idea, you big ape? You drove us off the road, didn't you? Stay out of this. You ain't the first thing I ever smacked. Oh, really, my good man? You can't talk to a lady like that, you know. Don't you, my good man, me, you squirt. Come on, get out of there. You're making a big mistake, you know. Get out of there. Oh, no. There's something you could do for me if you'd care. Oh, anything, anything at all. Anything. I was wondering if uh, you could cash a check for me. Oh, sure. Could anything you? up to $50, sure. Oh. I keep a supply on hand for the tourists. Their checks don't turn out so very good, they bounce back, but it's a weakness of mine. I have a rubber stamp mark, not sufficient funds, that saves me the trouble of sending to the bank. Oh, yeah. And I like to keep these just to write poetry on the back. <laughs> the first thing you've got to get into your head is, you're marrying me, do you understand? No, I'm not. I wouldn't marry you if you were the last man, man in the world. Where you are. Well, I'm not.